is an actress and a writer. Her new show is The Chair on Netflix, which she created and wrote. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Amanda Peet. Nice to see you again. The last time you were on here, it says on the little card here, was February 2016. Why? I haven't. Uh, what did I, I do to you? Apparently, I haven't gotten a lot of work. I have been. You know, I've been asking for Amanda Pete once a month for five years. Where's my Amanda Pete? I'm right here. You got you got the new series now. You're, you've been actress for 25 years. Now you, you, you've written and created your your own series called The Chair. What is the chair about? Um, the chair is about an English department in a small. Um... Oh, the uh, uh, oh. a chair like a professor's chair. Oh, chair, like, not yeah. like chair. Although you know. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything to sell a ticket. But, yeah. Yeah. So it's about like the chair of an the English chair department. The chair of an English department, yes. And Sandra O oh plays the chair, the inimitable Sandra O. Oh. She's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wanted to make a romantic comedy, so she basically um, comes on as the chair of the English department, and the person she loves transgresses in the classroom, and she sort of has to decide how to handle it. The person she loves in the English department. Who she, her colleague. Her colleague. She's now his supervisor, so she actually has to hand down the consequences after he transgresses. The, the, we have a, a scene here with uh, Sandra O oh and the great Holland Taylor. What's happening here before we go to the So court? she also has to try to um, tighten up the budget at the English department, so she's been told to let go of Holland Taylor. So this is a does scene. Does she have tenure, Holland Taylor? She does. That's hard to let somebody go if they've got tenure. This is true. This is all. This is all brought up in the show. <laughs> Spoiler. I'm like, wow. Spoiler alert. People with tenure can do just about any thing they want. <laughs> they can. Not that. You can't do that on CBS. <laughs> well. I have tenure at this point. <laughs> Jim. You look at your evaluations yet? Yes. And what did they say? That I'm too exciting. Wait a minute. Was he always in here? Oh, I haven't had time to redecorate. I gave him a hand <laughs> in his car when I got tenure to celebrate. That's the president of the college from like 1924. Ooh, looks like the guy I gave a hand <laughs> to. Also, how is that a celebration for you? Good point. He owes me an orgasm, whoever he is. He's got a point. Go ahead. I heard you wrote it with Sandra O oh in mind. Are you guys old friends? I just uh, loved her from afar. I saw her in a play in 1998. I just, yeah, I loved her from afar. And so um, I had some help getting in touch with her. How? Because I don't, I'm not on social media. But you're man of Pete. You can get in touch with people. <laughs> what do you mean? Why does that make you laugh? You, you've been around. You can get in touch with people. Well, I. Get me Sandra O. Oh. Click. That is just how my life is. It could just be. Just like that. It could be. Um, so my friend Sarah Paulson, who is on social media, she made the, the overture to Sandra O oh and said, can you read this script by my Did you ask friend? Sarah Paulson to slide into Sandra O's oh DMs? <laughs> That's what you're saying? Did you, sli did you ever slide? Is that the lingo? Yeah, oh yeah, I slid into her DMs. That's not just you coming up with that? I promise you it's not just me. <laughs> For real, I don't slide into it. anything at this age. Yeah, you no, know. 57, baby. Yeah. No sliding left. I'm turning 50. It's... What? I would never have believed it. <laughs> I would never. I honestly would never have believed this it. This is Amanda Pete. Get me <laughs> blah, blah. He's um. very good. <laughs> OK, OK. So and she said, yeah. So she, so she said, yes, I will meet her. And then the rest is history. And? As one of the, as the producer of this thing, as the creator of this thing, I understand you're taking this opportunity for some sweet payback. I've been told this is payback, but I don't understand why this is okay, payback. Okay, because for so many years, people were 
touching me and primping me and poking at me in between takes and fixing my hair and my makeup and it was all about you know objectifying a person so with, with all the men on my show I just had this bizarre feminist revenge so you're objectifying you're objectifying this man right here <laughs> You're turning him into a sex object, are I you? I am turning Ron Crawford into a sex object, yes. Now, um, I understand, Sarah Paulson, besides being your booker, evidently, <laughs> <laughs> before your, 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 your fixer in casting, she also helped you edit this thing, but, like, kind of on the fly. Yeah, so she's very busy, as you can probably imagine. Sure, sure. <laughs> But with the horror stories. She actually has a career. Um, and so she, in a good way, there's no O. <laughs> this is why you didn't come back for five years. <laughs> oh my God. So, um, so my kids, the one who's on social media is now kind of obsessed with her because now she's Sarah Paulson, not just Auntie Bird. Sure. Before she was just. Auntie Bird? Auntie Bird is my friend, but now she's like Sarah Paulson from American Horror. Sure. So we, she'll drive up, she stays in the car, I run out with the pages that I've worked on, and then we sit in the car and read them and see if they suck or not. Oh, so she was the suck judge? <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. You slid right into that. I did not, I promise you. <laughs> So it's this isn't like the only we're thing you've written. It's like having an affair, but it's there's no. It's all just acting, it's scenes, acting them out. In a car. In a car in the driveway of my house, so that she can, so that she doesn't get accosted by my children. Because if she went inside, they would be it too would be, excited to see her, and nothing got done. That's correct. Wow. Well, that's a pleasant problem to have. Yeah. Well, yeah. So it, besides writing this, you've also written. You've written. Uh, you've written plays. You've written a children's book. Dude, what does it feel like for you when you first start to write? Because I have to write as a part of the course of, of my job. And every time I go to put my fingers on the keyboard or a pen to a paper, I'm stricken with imposter syndrome. Like, I know I've done this for 30 years. I can't do it this time. Do you ever get that paralyzing fear? I'm having it right now. <laughs> How do you get over it? Why do you motivate yourself? I drink. Oh. <laughs> there it is. In the driveway. With Sarah Paulson. Um, yes, of course. Every I, time you think you suck, and I, I don't understand why you think that, but, but. Because every every day I have an opportunity to suck again. <laughs> That's the nice thing about doing one of these shows. Every day the last show's gone, and you can only enjoy it for the five minutes after the show's over. And tomorrow you have to do it again, which is a great privilege. But also, well, maybe I'll suck today. No, I was actually feeling. <laughs> I was feeling very nervous about coming here this afternoon, and I was like, I wonder if he's nervous. And I was like, nah. Every, every show, a little bit. I don't believe it. Amanda Pete, five years has been too long. Please Would come back want? more often. Thank you, I the will. The Chair premieres this Friday on Netflix. It's Amanda Pete, everybody. <laughs> we'll be right back with soccer aficionado and lover of America, Roger Bennett.